Today, I'm gonna to share a principle with you that's gonna completely change the way you look at recording, mixing, music, and life in general. Once you apply this principle to your mixes, you're gonna be able to avoid so much frustration and wasted time from learning stuff that you don't need to know. And it's actually quite liberating because as you're about to see, you don't need expensive equipment, you don't need expensive plugins to produce great music at home. And you don't even need to learn over three quarters of the stuff and the techniques and the tools um, of recording and mixing to produce great music. In fact, you only need to learn 20%. And that's an important figure that you're gonna learn all about in a second. So I wanna start by just sharing a quick story with you. In the early 20th century, there was an Italian economist called Vilfredo Pareto. And he was growing some peas in his garden and one day he noticed that 80% of the yield of peas only came from 20% of the pea pods. Effectively 80% of the results came from 20% of the effort and he looked at other areas of life. He looked at um, the economy and saw that 80% of the wealth in the country was only owned by 20% of the population. So then he looked at businesses and he found that 80% of the revenue in a business came from only 20% of the customers. And there was this constant uneven distribution between effort and results. So it's not always exactly 20 and 80, of course it varies quite a lot, but there's this constant uneven distribution where a small amount of the efforts put into something actually lead to a big amount of the results. Now I wanna go through and give you some ways that you can implement this in your music. As you found my website, it's likely that you're a musician who's producing their own music at home. You just wanna get great music and great demos at home with the least amount of work and effort possible. So for this reason, you don't need to get 100% of the way there. You don't need to get the exact same quality as a record that you hear on the radio. Even though that's perfectly possible, that requires a lot of time and effort. You only want to be 80% as good as those mixes that you hear done by professionals. And amazingly, to get 80% of the way there, you only need to put in 20% of the effort, a fifth of the effort, the money, the resources to get 80% of the sound. So the first way that I want to show you um, this distribution in mixing specifically is by just opening up a mix here. And what I wanna show you is that 80% of the sound of a mix comes from only 20% or less of the tools available to you. And those four key tools for me um, that result in 80% of the mix are volume balancing, panning, EQ, and compression. With those four things alone, you can get a great sounding mix. And of course, there are so many more plugins and processes and techniques out there that will improve your mix, but those are the four core things that will get you 80% of the way there. And that's probably less than 20% of the tools and techniques and plugins available to you. So let's have a quick listen to this mix here, um, just so you can see what we're working with. So it's sounding good. Now I just want to show you here um, how few plugins I have that aren't EQ or compression. So of course, Volume balancing is really important, and I think so many people overlook this. In fact, I think this is probably 80% um, of those four plugins comes from volume, ba volume balancing. So there, we're seeing the distribution again. Volume balancing, which is just a quarter of those processes, is resulting in 80% of sound. Um, and panning as well is important. But what I wanna show you are the plugins. So let's start at the beginning here. Now, this is an EQ plugin and VMR, um, which is a Slate Digital plugin, this is generally either compression or EQ. So every time you say 7-band or VMR, that's compression or EQ. Now straight away here, you can see all these trim plugins, and that's also important. This is just making sure that I've got plenty of headroom on each channel, and I'm gonna talk to you a lot more about that in a later video. So ignore those for now, and just look at the other plugins. So here I've got a gate, but then we've got EQ, compression, EQ, uh, another gate here and saturation, but again, EQ, compression, EQ, 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 compression, EQ, 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 compression, EQ, EQ, and it goes on like this. It's all EQ and compression. You get the odd plug in here um, that isn't EQ or compression, but in general, that's all you see. So 80% of the mix is coming from those four processes volume balancing, panning, EQ, and compression. If we wanna go one layer deeper, 80% within that is coming from volume balancing. So don't skip over that step. Spend plenty of time just adjusting the faders on your mix, getting a good balance. Don't worry about things like multiband compression, saturation, complicated techniques, 
all of these things that you really don't need to know. Just focus on those four key processes. Focus on getting good at EQ, compression, balancing, and then panning, which is pretty easy. Um, and you'll get much further, much quicker without wasting any time on all that other stuff that you really don't need to know. What you need to know is EQ compression and a few other plugins that I'm gonna talk about in a later video, which are also important, but they're the two main plugins. And then of course, volume balancing is super important too. Another way we can apply this is if we look at equipment and plugins, because you don't need expensive equipment to produce great music at home. In fact, affordable equipment has come on so well within the last few years that an affordable microphone like this is probably 80% as good as the most expensive microphone you can buy. Let's use the U47 as an example. Thousands of dollars. And this, a microphone that's just a couple of hundred of dollars, will definitely get you 80% of the way there. And we can apply that to plugins as well. The stock plugins in your door. Uh, let's take EQ for example. Your stock EQ, it works. It's an equalizer. You can boost certain frequencies. You can cut them. And it's how you use it that's important. That's what gets you 80% of the way there. Now, if you wanna get that last 20%, maybe you will have to invest in a premium EQ, but you can get 80% of the way there with something that's free now. So we're not even talking about 2080, we're saying 080, because the EQ that comes with your door is gonna get you 80% of the way there when you use it right. So you don't need expensive equipment to produce great records and you don't need premium plugins at all. I wanna give you a quick demonstration of this. First of all, listen to this track with premium plugins on the vocals. Now listen again with stock plugins on the vocal. Goes to show that you can get 80% of the way there, if not more, 90%, 95% with stock plugins. And now finally, one more really important way that we can apply the 80-20 rule or Pareto's principle to recording and mixing is the fact that 80% or more of the sound of a record, the sound of a track, the sound of a mix comes from the recording phase, not the mix. So if you listen to a professional mix before and after, it's gonna sound so similar because the recording was already amazing. And if you got the same recordings that these professional mixers are getting and had to mix them yourselves, it would sound amazing too because 80% or more, probably more like 90% of the sound comes from the recording phase, which is in some cases 20% of the effort. So you need to make sure you actually spend much more time in the recording phase than the mixing phase. And I wanna give you one more quick demonstration here. Same mix, but this time all the plugins are bypassed as you can see in front of you. Now it is gonna sound different and I still have volume balancing, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear anything. But it will show you how little an impact the plugins actually have. So yes, it sounds different. Uh, it doesn't sound as good, but it's 80% of the way there. And that's what this is all about. Realizing what the 20% is that results in 80% of the outcome and then focusing your attention there and ignoring the rest so that you can produce great music at home in less time with less effort and with affordable equipment, the gear that you already have. But now the question is, what should you focus on first? It never ceases to amaze me how many people skip the balancing process, despite it being arguably the biggest factor in the quality of the mix. And if you don't take the time to set the instrument levels right at the beginning of the mix, your music will never sound professional. So to help you take action on what you've learned in this video and focus on the stuff that really matters, I put together a free volume balancing cheat sheet. Inside, you'll learn a simple step-by-step -step approach to volume balancing that will guarantee that your mixes sound the best they can. It's completely free, so head to the link in the description to get instant access. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob from musicianonamission.com. Make sure you grab that download and I'll see you next time.